my lovelies, welcome back. Now today's video is finally starting our debt free journey. We are officially starting it. Now we are second week into July or coming into the second week of July. So I'm not putting any videos up about our budget because it's still working rather loosely. So, but we have started and I wanted to show you guys and let's just get straight into this video. So guys, like I said, we are officially, just moving the mouse, officially started our journey. It's taken us a while. The budget is still kind of really loose. We kind of tracking our spending a lot more than what we were we've give ourselves little budgets for little things that we know generally what we will need um so it's like our food budget i've put a cam shop with me i'll put that down below um we give ourselves a budget of 50 pounds and i kind of always challenge myself to, to go less than 50 so we know like on small things what our budget's going to be Nick has started a new job. He don't get paid till next month. So next month is when we're going to officially start our big, amazing budget. Um, but yeah, so as you guys know, again, there's going to be a pop-up for my box Clever Planner review. This is obviously what I will be using. This is primarily on a monthly pay schedule. So I'm trying to see how I can incorporate this to be weekly and monthly. I get paid weekly, Nick gets paid monthly. I've got two jobs, a full-time and a part-time because it's just giving us extra money. So I'm trying to see how I can incorporate this for the weekly pay and for the monthly pay, but I will do it guys. I'm, I absolutely love this planner. I just can't wait. I believe I already showed you this, but I will just show you my little update. We've got all our debts, all the balances, and then every month I'm just gonna add the the new payment. So it's like one of the one of the debts is like 220. Um in July in July it'd be say 200, August 180, just so you can see it progressing down so i so can't wait to use this um and I'm, I'm not sure if i would repurchase it for 2021 i'm not sure or if i'm kind of going to go to a different planner like the budget mum planner or erin conrad or i don't know so if you guys got any suggestions about what planners you using how they are to use can can they kind of accommodate weekly pay monthly pay just kind of all the good stuff because i'm kind of at odds of what kind of planner i want to go for next year or am i just going to kind of create my own i'm not sure which way i'm going to go down we've got as i said we've these are the cash envelopes we got they were from ebay i will try and find the link for these and if i can i will post them um down below in the description box um these are just real basic cash envelopes they're just card laminated but they are really basic because like i said we've never used cash envelopes and i didn't want to spend a lot of money on them so we primarily just bought these for now but I've signed up to the Budget Mums newsletter and she put some amazing, amazing cash envelopes that you can print out. Um, it's kind of like a little weekly um, email course and it is amazing. And so we've been implementing that to create our budget. So for now, we've just got these. I need to, Our printer's not working. We need to get ink. But eventually I will be printing some some cash envelopes on card and we'll we'll try. But these are purely just to get us. So we've got household, we've got fuel, uh, we've got his and her spending, we've got groceries. And we've got um a envelope for miss <laughs> oh god, miscellaneous. 
So these are going to be our cash envelopes. I love the actual patterns on them and the variety. As we got like a leafy one, a dotted one, another leafy one, stripey flower, um, hexagon. I just love them. And I think they're really good for kind of like a first cash envelope. If we do progress onto another cash envelope, these will probably still be used for sinking funds. So they're still going to be used and they're not going to go to waste, guys. But these are great, like I say, for first time planner, first cash envelope spenders or for sinking funds or emergency. But I do really love them. So hopefully I can find a link for you guys. Now, the, the other thing I've got, um, anything I talk about today, I will link in the description box. So another one I come across was debt free charts. And I've bought, a, I've got a couple. So we've got the started emergency fund. Like I say, we, we've only now just started it. So I haven't actually, um, we haven't put anything in our emergency fund yet but it will happen um it will be happening next week we we'll probably put uh 10 or 20 pounds away because each square is 10 pounds so the first part of our emergency fund is we're going to get a thousand after that then the plan is three to five so we haven't quite figured out a final like figure but i will also link down below my financial goals for my 30s because Nick's in his 30, is 34 now, but I'm coming home to my 30s. So that'll give you more of an in-depth of what my goals is, our goals. But our goals vary a little bit. But yes, we've got the emergency fund. I've got the house deposit, which we actually made our first saving contribution for, which is £20. But each little square is worth 100 So I've got a wait just yet, but we have started for a house deposit. But this is this one. This one was £1.50. The emergency fund was free. We've got Debtress, which is another free chart. We haven't started filling this in yet, but it's ready for when we do. Then we've got Debt Free Land, which again is free. I absolutely love it. And then we've got 2020 Payoff Challenge. Obviously, we start on halfway through. But I'm, I still definitely want to get this filled in as much as I can. Um, but I think these are going to be great visual aids. One of the rooms in this bedroom is going to become like my visual board kind of thing. And I want it to look amazing. I just haven't discovered which one I'm going to do yet. Which board is going to be our visual board. But we will have one. And when we are ready to create it, I will video it so you guys can see. And then in my little box, literally all I've got is highlighters and some pens and a glue stick. But these highlighters and pens were from Home Bargains and they were like one ninety nine each, I think it was, for a pack of, well, a pack of four highlighters and a pack of six pens, but they are really good. Um, we've contacted all our debtors. Um, some of our creditors that are quite high um, we've got kind of a leniency with them on because we explain the situation where one of my jobs, jobs is furlong, the other one is part time, so I'm only going to get a certain amount of income. So they're going to, some of them is holding off till next month, but we've already set up a payment plan for them when we can start paying it. And a few of the small debtors as we've already started paying, um, we probably made these five small debts that we've got to clear. And we've probably sent um, £50, so it's £10 on each debt. Because what me and Nick are thinking of doing, or what we will be doing, is we're going to be making a small um, a small payment to them each on my payday. And then when Nick gets paid at the, uh, the middle of every month, we'll be making another payment out of his wages. So technically, there's going to be three wages chucked into our debt. We're still going to save, but we haven't put down, um, we've only put down the minimum saving payments to our save, our sinking funds and everything, because at the moment we want to kind of focus on trying to get as much of our debt down as quick as we can, because I've got possibly a very unrealistic goal, guys, which is I want to be debt free, but we want to be debt free by July next year. 
don't know if that's gonna work fingers crossed it does but that's kind of our little plan um but yeah so i'm so happy to say that we are finally starting our debt journey i just can't believe it's taken us a while to, to even get at this position but i'm so excited that we are finally there and we are finally ready to just go full hog with this and just say we need to get it done so i'm so excited guys i don't know how exactly i'm going to be filming the budget video because every month I will be doing um, a budget video from our monthly. I know how much my wage is going to be every week. So I think I'm just going to do one video at the beginning of the month, saying what our budget is, and then at the end of the month, I'm going to close it. Do you guys agree? Uh, leave a comment in the comment box about how you think I should do this for you guys, because I'm just, I'm so buzzing, and I'm just so excited that we can finally do this. If you've got any advice, any tips or anything just leave it down below in the comments box always give it a like and if you are new click that subscribe button and the bell notification and i'll see you on my next video bye guys